So brush your teeth and floss with me. There's so much to learn and see. So come along and smile with me. It's the Kimmy to Tutor Show. That's me. Hi, it's Kimmy the Tooth Tutor, and I'm here today with my friend Elvis. Hello. And we are here to read you a book called Clark the Shark Tooth Trouble. It's written by Bruce Hale and illustrated by Guy Francis. And I'm also here to apologize because I messed up my first video of um, reading the book by recording it a different way. And I realize now that it looks like I'm reading the book backwards, which in fact I was not because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so Elvis and I are here to fix that, but you'll notice in the next two sections of the video, I look different. Um, so I just wanted to let you know, but the next part is a talk about mask mouth, about how when we wear a mask, it affects our mouth possibly. And the other thing is a, um, a shark related craft slash activity game. So let's get started. Clark the shark tooth trouble. Clark the shark loved Reeve soccer. Flick it and click, kick it, he cried. But sometimes it didn't love him. Pow, ow, gee, ow, ow, oh, oh, it hit him in the teeth. His tooth hurt, his tooth wobbled. What if it fell out of his mouth? You need to see a dentist, said Miss Mahi, the school nurse. What's a dentist, asked Clark. Someone who fixes teeth, said Miss Mahi. I'll call your mother. As Clark waited for his mother, along came his friend, Joey Mackerel. Check this out, said Clark. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ow, ow, ow. Cool, cried Joey. Billy Ray Ray joined them. I'm going to the dentist today, said Clark the shark. No way, said Billy Ray. I hear dentists are scarier than a box full of blue whales. <gasps> really, said Joey. Really, said Clark. Really and truly, said Billy Ray. Uh-oh, and oh no, Clark was worried. Sorry, technical difficulties. And dentists are meaner than a 10-page math test, said Billy Ray. <gasps> oh no, and oh no. Don't listen to him, said Joey Mackerel. He'll be fine. Joey's a good friend, huh? Clark wasn't so sure. When his mother came to get him, he asked, do I have to go? What's wrong, said his mom. Billy Ray said dentists are mean and scary, said Clark. Billy Ray also told you that whales can fly, said his mom. Oh yeah, said Clark. Then a rhyme popped into his head. Don't shed a tear, cause there's nothing to fear. That's right, said his mom. At last, Clark relaxed and smiled. He was his usual sharky self until they reached the dentist's office. And Clark thought, a scary thought, what if Billy Ray was right? At the dentist's office, Clark wailed. He hung onto the door and he clung to the chairs. No, he said, you can't make me. It took his mother, two dads, and a dental assistant. His mother, two dads, and a dental assistant. That's four to get Clark into the dentist chair. And then, oh no, and oh no, in came the dentist. Hi, she said, I'm Dr. Pia. What has teeth but cannot eat? Clark stared. Dr. Pia was so tiny. A comb, she said, get it? it has teeth but it can't eat. Dr. Pia juggled her tools what time do you visit a dentist? I don't know, said Clark. 2.30, <laughs> said Dr. Pia. She played happy music. Dr. Pia was nice. She had the gentlest spins and the silliest jokes. What's a dentist's favorite animal, said Dr. Pia. I don't know, said Clark. What? A molar bear. <laughs> they laughed together. Ha ha, Clark roared. Dr. Pia worked on his mouth and then... Here's that bad boy, said Dr. Pia. She held up the tooth. The new one will come in soon. You want to see lollipop? 
The next day, Joey asked, so was the dentist scary? Clark smiled and said, I didn't shed a tear because there was nothing to fear. So that's the end of that book, but there's some cool facts at the end that I'm going to tell you in a second. Sharks do have so many teeth and sometimes if you go to a beach, we used to go to a beach that had um, shark teeth on it and if you just look carefully you can find lots and lots of them. Sharks have many rows of teeth so they never run out. So they have row and row and row of teeth. When a shark loses a tooth another one moves into its place. Sharks lose their teeth more than once. Some lose up to 30,000 teeth in their lifetime. That is bonkers. Sharks have the most powerful jaws of any animal on the planet. So that was Clark the Shark Tooth Trouble. So next we're going to talk about mask mouth and then do a fun craft. So that was our book today and this is our craft. Well, I will bring it all out in a minute, but actually first I'm going to talk to you about masks. So I was recently asked about um, if masks can change the environment of our mouth. So, you know, we all wear masks all the time now, right? So what we have discovered is that because you're wearing a mask, um, you might not drink as much water. And so it's really important when I am wearing a mask, I still drink tons of water because I'm always thirsty. So what I do is I put my water bottle underneath my mask. So even if I'm in a crowded room, I'm not really exposing myself to germs. So you can use like a straw or um, you can also obviously just take it down and take a sip if that's okay with whoever you're with. The important thing is that you still drink a lot of water because water helps hydrate us and rinse our mouth and rinse those sugar bugs away. Um, so that's something. And then another thing is that because we're wearing a mask, you know, we talk about stinky breath sometimes and how we wake up with stinky breath in the morning and um, because the sugar bugs are having a party at night, right? Well, the sugar bugs have a party in your mouth when you don't drink water and um, and you're more likely to smell your stinky breath because your mask is holding it close to your face. So it may be that your breath was stinky before and you just didn't notice. Um, so just to remind you, we should brush two times a day for two minutes and we should also floss, right? We should floss once a day. So just to remind you about brushing, um, when we when the sugar bugs the sugar bugs first stick to our teeth, they stick right along the gum line. So when we brush our teeth, we want to point our toothbrush towards the gum line a little bit, and just do little circles all the way around, all on the outside, and then we go to all the places we chew, and then on the inside. So we do the same thing on the top and the bottom. Just angling it a little bit towards your gum line in little circles. You can do circles and swish or if that's too tricky for your hands because sometimes we're not able to do that movement yet. You can just do little little scrubbies. Just make sure you go all the way around. Um, and then when we get to the front, our toothbrushes don't fit like this. They only fit like up and down. So remember to brush your front teeth like that. So that is about wearing masks. So our craft today is a fun little shark craft. Um, so I have, I have my plate taped to a um, shim, I think it's called, but you can use a popsicle stick, a tongue depressor, which is like a bigger popsicle stick. You can use a painter, like a mixed paint mixing thing, whatever you have around or really any other sort of thing. I suppose you could even stick a spoon or something to it. So the point of the game is that we have a bouncy ball and it goes around and you have to see how long it takes you to make it go through the shark's mouth. It's actually pretty, at least with these plates, it's pretty tricky, but I did it, yay! I made it work. So for this craft, you need some sort of stick 
Like I told you, you need a bouncy ball. <clears throat> um, and a plate, obviously a paper plate. I just have a pencil, a regular pencil, a colored pencil, and a black marker, and scissors. So for part of it, you're going to need uh, an adult to cover, to cover, to cut it for you. So right now, I'm just going to draw the shark on the plate. And much in the same way we have roots on our teeth, it actually is a very similar shape to the shark. So I just made sure there was a little pointy part at the bottom, that the fins are pointy, those aren't on teeth. But the teeth have roots, and so these kind of look like tooth roots also. <coughs> Excuse me. So I am going to... Draw the shark. So see this outline does look a little bit like a tooth. If you would just make it shorter and take the fins off. <clears throat> and then we just need to make the legs. So there's the outline of the shark. And then we draw two little eyes and a mouth, which I found out with the first one looked a little creepy if I didn't um, do circles, uh, a circle around it. And also, if you can make it a little more pointy on the top corners, it looks less creepy. But I'm going to um, put little dots in the eyes, and then I'm coloring the rest in with my blue. Um, okay, so to cut, to cut the hole, I just, once I figured out where about the center is, this is for grown-up, like I said, see, I stuck the scissor through, and then I cut the circle if you do it in pencil first, it's easier, so you don't have to redraw any of the black part. Let's see, I'm just going to make sure that... Oh! I didn't make it big enough. <laughs> so that wouldn't work, would it? So what I was telling you earlier about the little, if you almost make him have a little smile, it's better. So let's see if that helps with the size. I'm just cutting some corners in here. I'll just draw around that with a marker. How does that look? Do you think that looks better? I still might have to make it a little bit bigger. Yep, it's still not quite big enough. Just draw a little better around the part where I cut. Okay. And then I actually couldn't find my um, crayons today, but you can, I colored it in with a pencil because sharks are gray, some of them anyway. Um, and so I thought that worked. So you get the idea. So this is my new guy. And then um, you just find about the center and you 
you tape the stick onto the back. There you go. Here's our, our fun things for today. So take care of yourself, be well. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always email me. My name is Kim Hartling Wells and my email address is kimhartlingwells at gmail.com. So it's um, W-E-L-L-E-S is the only tricky part of that. So be well. Take care. Bye. Bye.